Hello everyone, it is Toby here back for another episode of Earn Author Blocks and in today's episode we are back here over at the base area. There's loads of people online, we're doing quite well, well loads, I say loads, it's three people online. And today we are finally going to be starting work on this middle section of grass here. In the last episode we were going to start work here with the uh, towered building of sorts up here but we got distracted by meeting up with fluff and building ourselves this lovely tea shop just on top of uh, forges gambling site because if you don't remember we started a little group me and fluff called uh, the guys and we are guys against gambling addictions in the last episode we cordoned off uh, the casino here and built a tea shop on top as well as change the rocket sign to say tea which is all good and it's only been one night since I've been on so I'll be surprised if we've got any sales yeah none at all but if you want to see us basically procrastinating loads and building a giant teacup then go and watch the last episode of this series if you haven't already, as it was a lot of good fun. But in today's episode, I am going to just quickly check the coal mole and see if we've had any more sales. We have not, okay. That is good. We're still in stock of coal. But over here at our base, we are going to be starting the towered building that is going to go right about here so if we start like laying out the basic foundation sort of what we want so we want like a tower which should be there because I want to keep this bit here relatively open so the tower will only come up to about here and then the front of the house can come to about there and we can afford to actually bring the back of the house back a little bit but I think I think I might leave the back of the house to be sort of there-ish so we can have a bit of a garden. And I'm sorry I understand, but you're going to have to go. You are taking up too much space. If we do something like this, we can have a bit of space around the back here. And yeah, we just build up a bit of... Uh, a house sort of thing maybe this sort of shape I don't know we're gonna we're gonna work on it and hopefully it'll turn out quite well but I'm thinking this is probably a good sort of size and shape for this house and obviously we'll have another I think couple houses here might may make a little alley down here and split this into two roads with houses either side we will see but as for now I'm gonna start building up the bottom floor of this house and I'll get back with you once we've made some progress. Okay, so guys, we have been building. And during the time I've been building, the UK has gone into complete lockdown. So, yeah, we're not allowed to leave the house anymore unless we need to get food. So, I have no excuse but to play on author blocks. So, that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys. And so, I've got the foundation of the house coming up. And I thought I'd go for a slightly more curved roof than these pointed ones we've done everywhere. Just add a bit of variation. I really like the curvature of this roof here that I've got. I think that looks really nice. And I think it will be a shame to block that skyline from when you walk into the town from above here. So the house next to it is going to have to be slightly shorter. Um, yeah, or I might actually just make some sort of like square down here. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, we've got the foundation in and the roof started to go in. We're going to go with a different build palette, I think. We're going to go with, again the uh, dark oak wood roof which we've done in a couple places especially there and we're gonna go again like this building the spruce wood logs so very similar to this uh, big mill building here but instead of the terracotta in the middle I'm gonna trial either doing uh, the sandstone again but that would be that this exact house or we move on with uh, a completely different material we haven't tried yet so I'm gonna keep working away I'm gonna build up this tower in a similar style to these towers here and that tower there and turn it into sort of a bell tower type thing and I'm planning in the in this area here to have a big 
door like that will actually be a smaller door than that. It will be a two wide double door. Um, and then, yeah, just work on then having a bit of a garden area back here. Maybe a little fishing chair, that sort of thing. Some crates, that sort of thing. Just get, the, get this house continued. But I think the next progress update I will drop on you guys will be when the main structure of the house is done without any of the detailing. And, uh, just sort of how we can work from there. Okay, so guys, it's the next day and we are making good progress on this building here with the tower. And it is definitely going to be a bell tower, I think. But I am unsure about this dead space here and what to do with it. I'm thinking I might put a fence that goes down to the river here uh, and maybe another one over on this side just down to the river here and just have this as a bit of like a back garden area that I can make but yeah we're making progress none of the details have gone in yet but I decided to go with a um, yeah th this sort of build and it's looking quite nice from this angle I like the fact there's now a tower which we can uh, put some bells up there make into a lovely bell tower and yeah, it makes this street feel a lot more, I mean, street-like if you look at it. So once we have more houses lining the road here, it'll look pretty good as you go down into this street, this little marketplace <laughs> town. And yeah, we put some windows in the tower, you know, like we have done on our other towers around the uh, village. But we need to go into this build now and add in the details, add some andesite into the wall, some cobblestone. Get some trapdoor shutters, some lanterns, some bushes, that sort of thing. And make this house really feel at home in this village. And then once we've done that and made this house pretty much complete, I reckon we'll uh, move on to building a couple more houses in this area. But for now, I'm going to finish up this build and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so the last thing we have to add in up here is a couple of bells. And I've just discovered you can't hang bells off of fences, so that is really, really annoying. Um, I guess we're just going to have to put in some, some spruce wood up here, just some spruce wood blocks to hang the bells off of, which I guarantee is just going to look awful. That's too low. We'll put the bells one higher up, unless from down here it looks all right. No, they need to go one higher up. But yeah, we'll put um, the bells on the top. Oh, I've just put a hole in the roof. Um, I don't even have any dark wood on me. Right, for now, let me fix that. And let's go get some dark wood. Right. So, I've been thinking about this base. And I know that there are armor stands that look like well look like people obviously around my base and there's an armor stand book that you can use to position these people and I'm thinking that I might populate this town with little armor stands around about the place because I really like these random ones that have been put in so I might populate it with some cool looking armor stands just to give the base a bit of like a bit of a more lived in vibe I guess so let me just there we go fluffs on the server that is a rare ass sight <laughs> hey, hey um right let's have a look at how these bells look yeah that looks decent <laughs> a nice bell tower up there I actually quite like having four there imagine if like if you put four together you're gonna get one big one but I quite like that so yeah, I can kind of think about having like. Yeah, I know, I know. No one bought any tea. I'm also personally offended. But anyway, yeah. So what needs to be done with this build now is the interior, and uh, the details around the base of the build and the garden sort of area. So basically, I'm going to completely finish this build now. The bells in, and I will get back with you when this build is completely done. Okay, guys. So we got this build pretty much there, and. Yeah, it's looking fantastic. So what I have done is completely finished the exterior and interior, done the entire build itself, and I added in this lip of a roof here just to make this section look a little less flat. I didn't do it over the other side uh, because the roof doesn't jut out that far that side, and I think that looks decent enough for that side. just adds a bit of variation 
to the build, which is quite nice. And then over here in the garden area, uh, we added this little tree uh, to keep the sight line so it blocks off most of this house, which is uh, a good house, but seeing the whole thing is relatively uh, bland. So as you come around the corner, you can't see it at all, and then it opens up a bit more and you can see all this area. And it looks really nice. It looks very finished, this corner here now. And yeah, if we come over this side, we can see the rest of the garden. Got a lovely bench, a rose bush to sort of disguise the fact there is a completely flat wall there that is just massive. It just uh, draws your attention away from that. A little log shed here, which is also really nice. Added on all these lanterns around the exterior of the build uh, all the way around. But the main thing we got to do is have a look at the interior. So the interior of this build is really simple. Uh, because there wasn't a lot of space and the way the build has been done is quite awkward. So we come in through the big double door here. Um, uh, downstairs we've got a little table with a lamp. Uh, another table with a lamp and a flower pot. And some storage down here in the in the tower bit where you can see through the windows. See the back of Christmas Forge head. Uh, obviously there's the door into the garden here with the uh, river and such. But what we really want to do is go upstairs. And if you could see, in order for this door to work, we needed to have the roof be one higher than it usually is. So I've I accomplished that with some slabs. And this roof looks quite, like I mean, this floor looks quite messy. But I quite like it, uh, being all these different tiers. So uh, up here we got where the bed is, some barrels, just a item frame with a rose in it and another lantern and then we've got over this area the entrance into the tower which is quite low down hence it needs to be uh, lower down another lantern an armor stand with some shiny armor and a toby head on obviously other toby is online now i'm assuming i'm gonna say this is this is toby's house now because there's uh, his suit there uh, we got a demiand of course in the item frame there and then if we go up into the tower as you can see we can actually go into the tower itself uh, and then we can go up to the very top where the bells are and ring out the bells if we so wish which is really weird to get their hitboxes there you go anyway that is the build now completely done i think the interior is very simple but there obviously wasn't a lot i could do in there with the space that we had so the main thing about this build is the exterior having something to break up the skyline, a bit of a tower, just to make it look a little nicer if I get my rockets back and we fly up to this hill up here and get a sort of a bird's eye view on this town. And as you can see, we've now got this sort of half of the town completely done, which is looking fantastic. And now we've added in this tall tower just to sort of break up the skyline a bit, keep the houses from being all the same height and once again added another dark oak roof into the place so most of them is now pretty 50 50 on what's dark oak what's spruce we've got one brick building i might add another one in this area here but as for now this is looking absolutely incredible so i'm very glad with how this has turned out and we can safely say that if we look at it from this angle as well this side of the uh, town is pretty much completely done. I, I'm struggling to think what else we could put up here and I especially love walking down through this area because it seems quite crowded and cluttered which is nice. And then it opens out into this big area here which is lovely. So that is very very nice indeed. All right, the next thing we have got to do in this episode is work out what we're going to do in this episode. So uh, if we have a flyabout, I don't know if I actually want to work on another house in that area. If I can't think of anything else to do, that's what I will do. But I kind of want to change up what I'm doing for a little bit. Just I'm going to have a fly around the shopping district, have a look around. I have no idea what that skyscraper is. It might be spoilers, so let's turn away from that. But yeah, I will have a think and then I'll get back with you with what we are doing. Alright guys, I have decided that to end this episode off, we are going to be building a little shrine. Uh, like a place of worship thing, just sort of in this gap here. Because I'm thinking the next house will sort of be like uh, an L-shaped one that comes out here, like that. And then in this gap here it leaves, I'm going to put a little shrine to an unorthor block. Which is a block you can get by trading with um, wandering traders that... Basically, we've added in a data pack 
that allows us to get each other's heads, different heads of blocks and stuff, all through trading with wandering traders, just to make them a bit more useful. And one of the thing is, we get an author block. So I need to think about what we're going to make this thing out of. We're going to make a sort of pedestal. I reckon we make it out of some of this, some of this, some of this. Um, definitely some of this. And perhaps some of this. So we're just basically going to create this little shrine to the unorthodox block. And that is what's going to end off our episode. So I'm going to try and do this on camera. But I don't know how that's going to go. So we're going to have this with these bad boys like here. I think it's pretty cool. And then it doesn't matter what blocks are in this middle bit because we are going to be doing some stairs like so. And out of the stairs, we're going to have one of these, one of these, and one of these. That's a bit high up. So I think we're actually just going to have one of these and one of these and then on top of here we're going to have the unorthodox block at an angle like that that we can worship it I actually quite like this shrine um, yeah I quite like that and then we're going to I don't know if I should fill in the corners of this like that I think I should just so people can come pay their respects to the unorthodox block and worship it like so. I quite like that as a as a concept. Although I think I'm gonna make it a circle instead of a square. There we go. And then the house that comes in the back will look a bit better. Yeah, and then we'll just do something a bit like that. Sort of like path it off the path a bit. And then just have this little unorthodox block shrine and then put a sign on there saying shrine to the unorthodox block. Have some flower pots like so. Have some, let's put some poppies in it. I only have three so I need to get a poppy from somewhere. Where can I get a poppy? Where can I get a poppy? In the garden I can get a poppy. We'll nick you. And then there we go, that is our little shrine to an unorthodox block, which is actually pretty cool. Because that's going to be like in between two houses that are going to be overhanging. And yeah, we need to get a sign. So there's a crafting table around here somewhere, surely I put them everywhere. There's one. Just to make ourselves a sign. And we have some white dye to dye the sign as well. Which is good. So on here. Uh, shrine to the unortho block. Can't, can I not dye the sign? Oh yeah, it's bone meal, not white dye. That's why. There we go. Shrine to the unortho block. There we go. I like it. That is something cool to add into the village here. I like it. And once we have a house that comes out to about here that wraps around, it should be nice and enclosed, which I like. I think we should put some lanterns around as well just to make it nice. Yeah, there we go. I like it. <laughs> I, I like it. It's something very small, pretty insignificant, but I, I still like it. I like it. How many times do I need to say I like it to prove that I like it? But anyway, that is going to be it for today's episode of an author blocks. We have built a brand new bell tower house uh, to break up the skyline and complete this half of the town back here and uh, completely furnished that, did all the interior and then finished off with building a shrine to an, an author block here that Fluff traded out all of them from the wandering villager that I flew away to get emeralds for. So I just paid him an emerald. 
and he gave me this head that I can build this little shrine to. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of North Blocks. I really hope you have enjoyed. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And make sure to watch the other episodes I do on this series and the other series I do on this channel. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Toby and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.